Today we're going to read a book all about a lady called Amelia Earhart. She was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic and this is the book we're going to look at today. When Amelia was a little girl, she liked to imagine she could stretch her wings and fly like a bird. When she was older, she went to an air show. The planes soared into the sky, leaving Amelia on the ground. She wished she could go with them and see what they saw. She got a ride in an aeroplane and liked it so much that she didn't want to ever come down. So Amelia learnt to fly. After months of practising, she became the first woman to fly up to 14,000 feet. With a mechanic and a pilot, she was also the first woman to try and fly over the enormous Atlantic Ocean. As they set off, she waved at whales far beneath her. After many hours, they reached land. The world looked small, so small. The houses and cars were like toys. Even though Amelia wasn't flying the plane, when they landed, she became famous. People around the world were inspired by her story. Amelia thought that every girl deserved to fly. So she founded a club with 98 other fearless pilots. A little later, she flew across the Atlantic all by herself. As her 40th birthday approached, Amelia decided she wanted one final challenge, to fly around the world. A brave navigator went with her. They flew for thousands of miles over oceans and jungles and over the savannah where giraffes turned their heads in their trail. Some people said the journey was crazy. But Amelia wasn't afraid of living a thousand adventures. She flew on like a bird, further than anyone had gone before. Because Amelia always followed her own advice. If you want to do something, do it. You never know how far you could get. What a true inspiration Amelia Earhart was. And that was actually a true story. She did fly across the Atlantic Ocean all by herself. Okay, Ashanel, we look forward to seeing you again in another story. Bye.